Hey guys, Masters here, and I'm going to be giving you a breakdown of the new Halo Online trailer. So we're going to start off by uh, looking at this new turf remake that takes place during ODST. We're then going to go into a picture here of a new map, but most importantly, that Spartan is sprinting. For those that don't know, Halo Online is built off the Halo 3 engine, so this is one of the new enhancements they've added into it. This map, I'm pretty sure, was another game, but it was not a human design. You know exactly why it looks so familiar? Make sure you comment in the comments. It might be from Reach or 4. I'm not that sure as I haven't played too much of their multiplayers. Here we have another outdoor map. I think this is new as well. I don't know what map this is, but most important to note that there is a spike grenade making its return on the ground. Here we have a weird explosion, perhaps a fusion coil, I'm not really sure. Now this picture is just pure gold. First of all, it uh, confirms all four grenade tapes from Halo 3 are coming back, and they've also mixed the Halo 4 HUD and the Halo 3 HUD together, which I think is really cool looking. If you look in the upper right, there's a modified assault rifle that says it has 40 rounds, which is confirmed by the ammo counter, with 72 rounds listed below it. Looks like they've gotten rid of the ammo meters in this game, which show how many bullets are in each clip, and I'll get into more on that later. If you look in the lower left where the motion tracker is, there is no elevation in here. That was something added in Reach and it doesn't seem like it's been backported to Halo 3, but most importantly, there is a sprint meter going around the motion tracker. It looks like in this, every Spartan will have the ability to sprint. I know there's a lot of people who dislike sprint, but I think it'll work pretty well in this game for one reason. It doesn't seem like they're changing the map design to accommodate it. Now that may seem like a bad thing, but there, how much of a time can you see a sprinting being an advantage on Guardian? I think it would get me killed a lot more if I'm not able to react to a firefight quickly, but that's just me. I'm not sure exactly what's going on in the middle of the screen in the HUD, but it appears that there is a visor icon, uh, grenades on the right, and then on the left, potentially a bubble shield icon as well as a hologram. And of course, you can see the bubble shield being activated uh, in the foreground and one that's already been activated in the background. Moving on next, we see a Spartan getting shot, and you can see that there's now hit markers around the reticle, just like in Halo 4. Moving on next, we have the beam rifle action going on. Uh, cool thing, he's dropping a firebomb grenade, and there's some other interesting waypoint markers, and there's the firebomb exploding. That's pretty cool for me, considering firebombs were never available in Halo 3 multiplayer, and I always really wanted to see how they would play outside of custom games. Here we have a player using visor mode for the first time multiplayer while using a modified SMG. In this picture you can see in the upper left it says warning, visor detected. Why would you care if somebody's using visor? You'll see later on in this video. Here we have the armory for the Spartans. Now armor in this game changes on how your Spartan uh, plays. You can see that there's some strings here talking about shield recharge on melee kills and just an assortment of stuff, faster recharge rates. Um, all that like it's clearly not done as some of it's incomplete in its appearance uh, here you have your color settings for your Spartan here we have the weapon armory which appears to be affected by microtransactions every weapon has multiple variants where you can upgrade things such as the rate of fire the range the accuracy the damage um, I'm sure this is going to be very polarizing to some people, and it's clear to me that this game is not meant to be very competitive, and it's more one of those casual shooters, which makes sense if it's going to be for PC and aimed primarily for Russia, and it's going to have a focus on microtransactions. It appears the different types of uh, enhancements you can will put a certain color designator on a weapon, as you can see here with the battle rifle. Um... And you'll see a little bit more of that later in terms of some pickups and stuff. I actually got to say, I like the way a lot of these variants look. Uh, it doesn't look too far out from the nice stuff that I liked in Halo 4. But I'm sure people have different opinions on this. And I'm sure this is one of those things that people are going to say, Oh, it's just like Call of Duty. And yeah, it kind of is. But uh, it'll be interesting to play. Luckily, this isn't the only Halo multiplayer coming out. And we still have Guardians as well. So, I'm curious to see how it plays. I think it could make for some good, fun, casual play, although I'd love to see this type of customization for something like single player, more so than multiplayer. Uh, once the game comes out, I'm sure people will start discussing which one's better for what, and people will figure stuff out. Uh, one of the cool things on the carbine here is that you can use a battery instead of cartridges, which 
kind of borrows an idea that I'm working on for a Halo mod project with some people, but it's nice to see that in an actual game. Um, I'm not sure what else there is to really say about all of this, other than you can go through this uh, with the slider on YouTube and see it. Some of it's really weird, like that brute plasma rifle, and I don't know, it's very, it's very, very different for a Halo game. Um, it also appears that you're able to customize stuff like your grenades, such as the fire bombs in the beginning. Um, and like I said, this is very, very different for any Halo player. And though there you can see the ODST pistol, which is really cool, I'd like to use that in multiplayer. And I think this last advanced magnum looks really neat as well. Um, like I said, it's gonna have, you have to wait to see how it plays, but it's very different. Funny little thing there, that plasma pistol texture isn't complete, which is probably why you don't see it in any gameplay segments. Here we have another one of those weird explosions. Maybe it's not a fusion coil, I'm not sure. And here we have Visor. It lets you see through walls like Promethean Vision. Um, I think it's pretty cool that they're giving you a little indicator for that in your HUD. Again, it's one of those things I'm sure some people will hate. Um, I think it's a little bit more fair than what they did with Promethean Vision before, but we will have to see how this plays. In this next clip, we have uh, more visor action. You can notice in the upper right, it says press E to pick up green mauler with accuracy bonus, which is a cool way of trying not to make players remember exactly what little cosmetic modification uh, affects the, the performance. Uh, here we have an Asarful with the non-usable iron sights. They're just appearance only, don't freak out. And in the upper right, you can see that there's an ODST pistol the player is carrying. At the very top, you see a weird hologram-like icon. I'm not really sure what's going on with this. There's a lot of mysteries here to still be uncovered. Here we have a picture of a straight port of Guardian. I kind of wish they would change it just to make it be at like nighttime with like blue mist instead of green mist just to define it a little bit more, but it's whatever. Most important to note in here is that there are no plasma grenades at the spawn and there is no brute shot at the spawn. So at first I thought it meant to be no weapon pickups in this game, but that turns out to be not the case later. Here we have a Spartan rushing at someone with an SMG, which appears to be not important, but once he kills him, if you look at the battle rifle, it has a yellow outline and a yellow stripe, and you can also see that it's one of those modified battle rifles in the upper right, with the uh, upgrades that defined underneath it. Now at first glance in this video, it appears they're using the Halo 4 Warthog model because the blast shields around the turret are using the new style, but if you look here, you can clearly see with the shock absorbers, it's going back to the original Halo 1 to reach style, which I like a lot. Of course, the most important thing in this picture is this crazy looking DMR, which I think looks awesome. It's like a storm rifle and a DMR had a baby. I think it looks really cool. Okay, four things going on here. One, the guy is throwing a spike grenade. Two, the player has a modified assault rifle. Three, you can see how ammo is added into the HUD uh, through little plus signs again, which is nice. They've also finally fixed the shields in Halo 3. They now glow around the Spartan. There was a lot of problems with the way the shields rendered in Halo 3 where uh, they wouldn't render on all objects and it was kind of fixed in ODST, but it's nice to see that fixed. Here we have a big battle. A player has a brood shot. Another player has a shotgun on his back. This appears to be a remake of Avalanche from Halo 3, but now set in the desert. Why is it in the desert? Well, my theory, since they're trying to target low NPCs in Russia with this game, they didn't want a map that had a lot of glossiness and reflective surfaces that would happen when you have all that snow. But it looks pretty cool, and frankly, without the ice from the original Sidewinder, uh, there's nothing really special about the snow then. Here we have another picture of Warthog with a red, team, red guy and a green guy in it. Here is that Warthog getting blown up with the same Halo 3 particle effects. Here we have a player going after another player with a gravity hammer. Here we have another player taking down two Spartans with the SMG. The interesting thing here is the scoring system. I'm not really sure how it works or what's going on with it with the little plus up there, but it's doing something new. Here we have another picture of the Brute Plasma Rifle along with the visor warning. Uh, here's a really cool big team battle picture with the Ghost and the Warthog going at it. And here you can see a Gravity Hammer responding in the right hand side. Uh, so there's no fear of no weapon pickups. It looks like weapon pickups are still in. And here just a money shot of a bunch of Spartans in front of their Warthog in front of their base. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll have more videos like this in the future. To my regular crowd of subscribers, uh, there will be more CMT SPV3 news in the future. For those that are new to my channel, uh, just check out other videos here. I'm sure if you like Halo Online, you'll be interested in this project as well. Uh, take care, and I look forward to playing Halo Online with all of you guys. Masters out.